So a brand new trailer for Jurassic World Chaos Theory has dropped and is releasing on October 17th of this year. So not too long to wait to see the second season of a pretty good show. I really did enjoy the first season. It was very, it had a lot of dark tones. It was very enjoyable. And the dinosaurs in it were, of course, very cool. But as you can see, we do have a new dinosaur to talk about. And yeah, let's dig in to the new content for Jurassic World Chaos Theory coming to Netflix on October 17th. So our first image to talk about is of course this one, which is the new poster, I believe, for Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2, showing off a great look at the new Majungasaurus. So this Majungasaurus was originally teased in the toy line, the Mattel toy line were given the name major so i don't know if he'll have a major role but um yeah this is a very cool animal to see added to the franchise it i don't know if it looks too big or not because majungasaurus wasn't the biggest of dinosaurs but it is really cool to see another abelosaur uh take the screen uh since the carnotaurus in jurassic world fallen kingdom and the design looks pretty good it I mean, the, the only thing I'm wondering is how big it really is. I mean, compared to Darius, it certainly looks quite large. And Majungasaurus, was, I think, was only about three meters tall, if, if that. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. you got that singular horn on the top of its head. I think the Majungasaurus also has some yellow striping with, over a largely blue coloration and a sort of tanner snout. And you can see Darius here hiding in front of a crate of... I think goes to cabbages and yeah i think i and rumor has it that these cabbages are somewhat relevant in the a actual first episode that i believe this takes place in so another image shows off the gallimimus meeting darius here just before things um things go to hell <laughs> but uh the galley looks great here it's great to see the gallimimus return in Jurassic World Chaos Theory. We got it um, very briefly last season, but the Gallimimus was certainly a major new animal in Camp Cretaceous Season 3, as it um, played a pretty substantial role in, I think, in one of the episodes. I think it was the one where the Scorpius Rex first shows up. But uh, yeah, the Gallimimus looks great here in the rain. We also get this shot of, I believe this is concept art although it could also be taken from the actual episode it looks it it just looks insane there like you got the lightning strike coming down at the bow of the ship um starting a fire you got the waves crashing against the ship and containers going everywhere um containing all sorts of dinosaurs like we don't know every species that's on this boat but majungasaurus is certainly here and compared to the people it really does look like it's quite a large animal but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more of this episode as I, of course, have not seen it. And um, yeah, but this is looking to be pretty cool. I'd also like to take the opportunity here to talk about a few of the other things that have been sort of shown for season two for Chaos Theory. So Red the Atrociraptor is the fourth and final member of the Atrociraptor squad and was evidently missing in Jurassic World Chaos Series Season 1 as we only got Ghost, Panthera and Tiger. But Red, I do believe, would be making a an appearance this season and it would be really great to see him in action as he really didn't get too much screen time in Dominion and it would be great to see him have more to do. In a very short trailer that I haven't been able to find, um, we also got some shots of the Suko Mimus, which had a brief role last season, but this season um, looks to have a sort of more um, prominent role, as last season it was somewhat of a cameo, but in this season it is yellow with uh, red spots, and I think it will be taking a uh, much more threatening role in whatever episode this is. It looks like to be on mainland Africa as West Africa is, I think, the place that they were headed to uh, from, I think, the, the port that was in the finale of last season was actually in Louisiana. And, um, yeah, they're heading to West Africa next. And I, I think it'd be really cool to see the African environments um, 
with dinosaurs in them. I think that would just be really cool. And of course, the Super Mario is facing off against the Stegosaurus, a animal that we didn't get a lot of last season, but um, was prominent enough. And uh, great to see the Super Mario getting some more action. Now onto a couple of the clips though, this little um, trailer starts with the power going off on um, on the ship, uh, pro likely as a result of the lightning strike potentially, and all the cages um, that are electronically locked are probably opening, and it uh, seems the crew of the ship may also be discovering the campers as uh, the campers look quite shocked when the doors open there. And I say campers, I mean they technically are still the the camp fam but uh yeah so this first episode seems to be taking place largely on this boat so yeah i mean there's not much else to say for this one but uh yeah it's great to see the the rain effects in full this way here and the waves also look really good so in this next clip we get darius uh meeting the gallimimus um so he's sort of wandering around the containers, um, sort of uh, wondering what the hell's going on and um, thinking that something much larger is coming, but it's actually just the Gallimimus and he's trying to calm it down and um, get it to relax. But as you see in the next clip here, um, it really um, should have legged it when it could as the Majungasaurus flashes in with a bolt of lightning and it, it looks really good here. Like it, it, it's got the key abelosaurid features that you'd expect, like the long body, the rounded head, um, the tiny little arms. But uh, yeah, it's great to see it um, have a bit more action here. It really does have a very big head, though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Major um, will go beyond this episode and potentially show up in future episodes in the season as. The Beckle Spinax did as well, and um, that was sort of like the major new species from uh, Jurassic World Chaos Theory, and I think Majungasaurus will be the equivalent in this season. So just a quick video today. Um, if you're excited for Jurassic World Chaos Theory, do leave your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Majungasaurus being added into the franchise and of the design? I think the design looks fantastic, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And as for now, until more news comes up for Jurassic World Chaos Theory, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.